Hi ladies, welcome to my Little Rose Street Fair. This is my fourth one, I believe. And my goal with these is to keep them short. They've been running about 20 minutes, but I want to introduce you to new products that are coming, um, stylist exclusives that are only available through stylists, and those disappear within a half an hour when they go online for us, so they are very limited. Um, so I want to show you some of those, some of the new items that are coming for fall, give you announcements, and give you, those who aren't familiar with Lilla Rose, an idea of how you could incorporate Lilla Rose into your hair wardrobe and how you can make your mornings quicker and easier with the products. And then I offer for those who are already fans of Lilla Rose, um, to give you a couple new ways to wear them. So I've got, let's see, three, maybe four if we have time, styles to show you tonight with different items. Uh, but tonight I just want to start off by making an announcement. Speaking of announcements, Lilla Rose has, I don't, I've been with them for four years and I never remember them offering a kit special or a joining special during the crazy season time, selling time in fall uh, when we're our, at our busiest. But they are offering our kit. And I'll show you there. You can see what that is. And I'll tell you what all's in it for $99. Um, we don't know, we don't have an end date. Um, how long this will last, but currently um, it is $99 to join. And with that, you get this kit, which includes eight flexi clips from the large medium, you get three mediums, um, all the way down to our mini. So eight different clips, some are more formal, some are more casual, so a variety of some of our best-selling clips. You also get two of the leathers with coordinating sticks that can be mixed and matched. They give you another decorative stick that can be worn um, with this, the leather, probably not so much the black one, but would look great with the leather, the plain caramel colored leather. Um, you get a, a long U-pin. You get two sets of traditional U-pins, the sets of two. One's a more formal pair, our dogwood. And then you also have the Celtic knots, which have been out of stock. So if you want those, that's a great way, and probably the only way right now to get those, because they've been out of stock forever. They're supposed to be back by the end of the month, so we're, we have fingers crossed. Um, a set of bobbies, the two hair bands with adjustable elect, um, elastic straps, um, and they're designed to be coordinated with each other. So this hair band, the Turquoise Tranquility, can be worn with the Tawny and with the Nina, and the Southwest, all those have turquoise in them. They can be coordinated. The, the brown Riley hairband can be incorporated with any number of the others, even the, the copper U-pin. So these are great clips and an amazing way to start off your hair wardrobe. It's over $300 worth of product just on this board. You also get with, with the kit a free website um, your replicated website where people can go on and order. You do not have to carry inventory if you choose not to. People can order directly um, online. You can demonstrate with these items and then they can order for themselves online. And the shipping's crazy fast. Um, usually have items in less than a week. So you get your replicated website. No, no charges for that ever. It's always been free and always will be. Then you get some startup business supplies from order forms and catalogs and brochures and um, different things. And you get a 30% discount to start. Um, you can work your way up to a 45% discount um, if you're going to sell more, but you're always going to have that 30% discount um, at least. So a 30 to 45% discount on your products when you buy or if someone buys it from your website. So really, truly, it's an amazing deal. And did I mention there are no quotas, no monthly, no quarterly. They do have, if you want to keep your, re, your discount for, you have to order within a year, $29 for the whole year. That's maybe two items or one large clip. So very large clip. So you, if that could be for, come from customers ordering off your website or you placing an order for yourself, buying gifts or set up, ordering for a show. So very easy to maintain um, that discount. So I just want to start with that. I'll mention it again, remind it at the end, but that stylist, the stylist kit to join my team, which I would absolutely love, and I know a lot of you are fans, and um, it's crazy for you not to do it at this great price. You get all of this for $99 and so much more and a discount. And now some of you know my story, I didn't intend to sell, never thought I would sell. And I still don't consider myself selling, more sharing. But I fell in love with the product and 
people were asking me about it constantly and just gave it a shot and the rest is history and now I've got you all as fans. So now I want to introduce you to some of the new new things we have. Some of them I'm still showing that um, are still available. If you want to see what is available, you can look, go to the albums in my um, essentially styled Christine Tony, um, my group or not group, uh, my my business page. Check the albums there and find the stylist exclusives there, and they're all listed. Try and I try and take them out when they're sold out. So some of those are still available. Um, and let me know if you're interested in those. But I do want to show you what we have, and I will be demonstrating one with this tonight. This is Tombstone. I know for any Texas fans, and there's a lot of um, teams with this that could use it as their motif, or ranchers, love these. So cowgirls, there you go, Tombstone. I like it. It's a pretty large, I don't know if you can see, this is a small, so it's a large piece. It's gonna stand out. All right, so we have Tombstone. <coughs> The other we have, I can't remember the name because they go so quickly and then they take them off the site. I'm gonna call this, what did I say? Diamond Circle. It's just a very simple, but really pretty the way that the beads are multifaceted so they really catch the light there. You can see that. And then it's got a rhinestone in the middle and a center. This is an extra large. Um, I really can't demonstrate an extra large because it's just too big for my hair. I might be able to like get it all the way around a bun, um, but this is really just too big for my hair. So these, and the clips hold massive amounts of hair. So this one is the, I'm calling the diamond circle. I'm sorry if you know it as the other, another name. Um, the other thing I want to show you are the current flexi of the month is called Solana. And it is so pretty. I really like it. It's got amber and gold beads here on the side. And then this is kind of like a marbly orange, really stands out, but it's got that sunburst. A lot of us have thought it looks like the tangled um, sun from the Disney movie. So, and they also released that in new pins also for October. So I will be demonstrating something with those. So that was Solana. Then this is actually a re-release, which I got really excited about. Now, those of you who are local know that Forest Festival is huge around here and it's one of my biggest shows and how I got started. So I really love these clips, but it's, and this is the U pin, but they're, they're called Maple. And it's got the dangles there, and it's like an acorn, a pine cone, and a maple leaf. And then they added this year, you could buy a charm to put on the little hook. If you can see, there's a hook there. You can see that they added the charm. Now the charms are sold out, but they're supposed to come back. So I'm gonna try and get more. Um, but I love just a little pop of color, an orange, and they have that you can put on the flexi as well, which I do have some of these. Um, I didn't quite sell out at the Forest Festival, so I still have a few left. I'm going to try and get some more, but this is one of my favorite, favorite clips of all time. So, it's maple. And you can add the, with the gold pumpkin charm to that as well. So, both options. I also have these. I haven't put in the album yet, but I will. I've got some Halloween clips. I have a bat that I couldn't find right now because I just got back from my show and things are still kind of a mess. Um, but we have pumpkins. I have a few of the cornucopia. I love the color beading on the cornucopia. It's like blues and ambers and greens. I don't know if you can really see that and appreciate it. Just a really, they're green, amber, blue beads. So pretty, that's cornucopia. And I have a couple of those left. Also, pro I think those are, actually I posted those I think last time. So those should still be in the album. Okay, something else. I think I'm gonna be demonstrating these sticks that I still have. These, they don't have the really blonde sticks anymore. They, they have more of a, a, dar a darker, still a light stick, but not quite the, the bright blonde. So these are an option as well. And I'm gonna demonstrate, uh, if I have time, that'll be one of the ones I add, add and demonstrate for you. The other thing I'm excited about um, tonight, and I'm gonna keep this short because at eight o'clock I go on and order the new stylist exclusives that they're releasing, which I don't know what all they are, but one of the things that they're releasing um, that's not an exclusive, you'll be able to order these too, are our leathers in fall colors. Now I have been waiting and have been begging and telling them and emailing them that I would love to see, see we have these leathers um, in color, so I've got it in the blue. And I wanted it for school colors. I thought it'd be awesome if they come out with gold and you can mix and match your sticks and your leathers. Well, just to show you how that you can coordinate. There you go. So you could get both colors represented. 
One of the leathers they're releasing is called Marigold, and I have very high hopes that it is gonna be a WVU Gold. Um, and then I've also got black sticks and black leathers that I can mix and match for Steelers. So sorry if you're not a Steelers fan. But I figure in West Virginia, most of you are gonna be WVU fans. Hey, Jesse, hey, Susan. But, so I'm excited, so I'm getting off of here. I'm gonna make sure I'm available at eight o'clock to place an order for some, hopefully, WVU gold leathers to mix and match with my blue sticks and blue leathers. So I'm excited about that. And if I get it, which I should, I'll have it within a week and the next uh, social street fair I do, I will have those and demonstrate them. So I have them for still, I have quite a bit of football season left that we can wear those and represent. Okay, I think that was it. I'm gonna be demonstrating the Carmine. That's not new, it's available on the site, but it is one of my favorites, but I needed an extra small um, quickly, so I grabbed that one. So I am going to do some demonstrations now, and the first one I'm gonna do is a French ponytail. This is a new one. First of all, I'll show you what's in my hair now. I have one of the leathers and a stick. This is a braided leather. This was as an exclusive, and I think I have one of those left. It's a it's a the Celtic Trinity knot. So, um, and it came with the bronze stick, which you can't get anymore. I'm hoping they'll maybe release those later. But, um, but for now, I am going to show a French pony. And I saw something similar and most of these styles that, that I do, sometimes I just call them happy accidents. I'm trying something and it doesn't work. And I'm like, oh, I like that. Can I do it again? This was kind of one of those. I saw another video on hair that what didn't have anything to do with Lilla Rose. And I'm thinking, I bet we could do that. So I'm going to demonstrate it with an extra small. I traditionally wear a small. So I need a size smaller than, I don't think a small would work as well as an extra small. So what I'm going to do Make sure I'm in the, in, the, in the center. Okay, so I'm gonna make a ponytail. Then I'm gonna grab the ponytail and I'm gonna twist, almost like a French twist, but I'm twisting down, but I wanna create that roll there, okay? So I'm gonna kind of flatten it out a little bit. So I'm gonna take my, my pin with my clip and I'm going to the very outer edge and I'm gonna Kind of stab in through there. I'm going to go out and grab hair from underneath that twist before I come back up. I might have gotten too much hair. I did. Hold on here. Let it come back. Try that. Okay. Oh, of course, I grabbed one that was really small. Okay. This one's pretty tight. There we go. And then once I get that secured, I'm going to see if that works. Sometimes I have to redo them. We're going to see. I can't always tell. Oh, and it's kind of dark. I can't tell. I don't think that one worked as well. I'm going to try it with a bigger clip. I'm sorry. This is live. This is what happens. I'm going to try it with a slightly different clip. I think this one's a little small. I think that one's going to be small too, but I'm going to try it. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to twist. Okay, flatten that out. And I'm gonna try it with cornucopia. And I'm gonna stab just the outside, come up, and back through. There we go, I think this will work better. But you want it, want it to stay kind of on that outer edge and then kind of let that fall. So it's not a tight ponytail, but it kind of gives it just kind of a, a flip roll. Hopefully you can see that. All right, just a casual, and it will stay there. It secures that hair all all day, but it's a loose ponytail, but it's gathered and it's just got a really elegant twist to it. So that I'm calling the French ponytail. I don't know what else to call it. Okay, then, and that was with an extra small. You usually go a small, a size smaller than what you would normally wear for a ponytail or tails up or anything like that. All right, the second one I wanna do is a loose bun with the tombstone. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the tombstone. I thought this would show up nice in the hair. So for this, I'm just gonna wrap my hair kind of loosely in a bun, but I am gonna tuck the ends under and then kind of flatten it out. Then I take, instead of encapsulating like, like the whole bun, which would take a much larger clip, I'm going to stick my pin in part way, okay? Go under, grab some hair from underneath, that's the key, and then come back up the other side. I bring this over. Well, again, I'm getting them really tight. And then secure that. And then you can kind of spread it out if it's not big enough. 
All right, I'm gonna check and see if that looks right. So that went kind of on top. I'm gonna try it again and try and see if I can get it a little, whoops, got caught on the horn. Sorry, I'm gonna flatten, flatten that twist out some. Well, I might have just unlost my ends, but we'll see here. But that way more on the side shows. There we go, I think that's more. Okay, might be a tad crooked. So, so that is for a bun. Just you can lock in, but without encapsulating the whole bun. And you can use traditionally much smaller clips. Um, I will show you how you can use a mini and secure a bun. You don't go through the center, but you'll go through the side, but I'll do that one of these nights. So that's just a loose way to do a bun. You can also do, I had oh, a lady with this gorgeous, thick, thick hair. Hey, Natalie, thick hair. I mean, her ponytail was at least like that and hair down to her hips. She needed a mega. So few people can use a mega, but even wrapping, we did her hair and we just kind of like wrapped it in a loose, Kind of bun and then kind of elongated and did the same thing. I posted it and it's in the album, I believe, that I posted for this. Um, so you can go back and look at that. That was a mega and she had massive amounts of hair, um, but it was so beautiful and so comfortable. She couldn't believe it because normally she breaks claws in her hair. So it was exciting for her to have something that she could wear. So that's great. And if she happens to be watching, hi. And um, I just loved working with her and it gets excited. It's exciting to, for someone who's never been able to use things in their hair, whether it's super, super fine and thin or super thick. Um, it's just, it's fun to be a part of that and to make their life easier. Okay, the other one is I was gonna do a ponytail. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one with a stick and then if I have time, I'll do one with Solana. We'll see what the time is, we're getting close. Okay, I'm gonna use the autumn hair stick in with the blonde. And this is kind of a wrap. You don't use any elastics. You wrap your hair um, and that becomes your hair band. Then you secure that hair band um, to secure the ponytail. Normally I go from, take hair from underneath the ponytail. For this, I'm taking it um, over top to get a different look. So you're gonna secure your ponytail. I'm gonna take just a section from the top and then I'm gonna take that and I'm going to wrap it around. Now this is a casual style. It's gonna look more like a knot when I'm done. At least that's the plan. So you're gonna take your stick and you have that band of hair now. I'm going to go up the opposite direction. Just grab a little bit of that band. Come, whoops. Come up, grab some hair from outside and come back down into that band to secure it, okay? So I, it should look like a little bit of a knot. And these are just, it's another fun way, different way to wear a ponytail. So comfortable, it does not pull on your scalp. Usually when you use those elastic, it's pulling on your scalp and it just holds those nerve endings. And then when you take it out at the end of the day, it's just those nerve endings have to settle back down and you get what I call a hair ache. So this is just, there's so many different ways you can play around um, with your ponytails and your sticks. You could add another stick, not necessarily, you wouldn't need to secure it, um, but you could add it just for a second stick for decoration. So something like, you know, just kind of stick it in and, and come out if you wanted. So if you wanted more of the chopstick look. So that's that. I think I'll go ahead and do the U pins with the ponytail. It's basically the same thing except for this. I'm going to take my hair out from underneath. I'm going to section off a little bit of hair from underneath my ponytail and come around. I find that if you take it from anywhere else, it kind of goes crooked. Okay, and you want it secure. Okay, and sometimes when starting out, I usually recommend people um, use damp or wet hair. So you're gonna take your, your U-pin and you, they, they're curved to go along with the shape of your head. So you start with that curve up, okay? You're just gonna grab a little bit of that hair band, go outside of the twist or the ponytail, grab some hair and you're gonna push it in. So that slides around just under, your, under the band. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Hopefully my hand's not in the way. You don't need a lot of hair and just slide it in. And then your hair, you might have to adjust those so they hide in the hair. But the pins typically curve 
in. Now, one thing I will caution you about Solana, I've never had this happen with other U-pins. I was demonstrating them at the Forest Festival and I do my twist. I'll show you here, just real quick. So you do a French twist and you put them in with your the curve up, grab air from outside, flip them over and turn them in. Well, I did my usual just quick and put it in. I want you to look. You see those? Those are kind of sharp. <laughs> so I dug into my scalp and the first time I just did it, I was trying not to cry <laughs> because I really dug it in. But I've, you can just, as long as you're aware and you're gentle when you first go in, because usually I'm just really fast, um, no pain at all now. But just be aware if you're used to U-pins and you're used to shoving them in, just be careful with the Solana. All right, I think that is it. So a few new styles um, for you who are already fans of Lilla Rose. And feel free to share the video if you have friends who want, are looking for new ways to put their hair up or complain about a hair headache at the end of a day when they take their elastic out. Let them know, share Lilla Rose. Don't forget I have a YouTube channel with all of these tutorials and more. Um, just look, search my name, Christine Tony, um, Essentially Styled, and you should find the, my um, YouTube channel. And subscribe if you like. I've got a few more people to where I can subscribe that I can get my own URL to put on my my labels and my, my business cards and such. So I'm looking for a few more subscribers, if you don't mind. And also, please don't forget and share and tell your friends um, that are interested in Lilla Rose that we have this special, the kit special going, going on. I do not know for how long, um, for $99. So all of this um, and great support. I mean, I'll be on with you supporting you, but there is so much support within Lilla Rose. It really is a, a family. Um, atmosphere and I really have enjoyed that so if you have any questions let me know good luck I will let you know I'm hoping again that those that I'll be ordering some Mountaineer colored leathers at 8 o'clock so I will let you know we've got some new styles coming out one's called anchor we haven't seen them we just have peeked and we know some of the back channels to see the names that are coming that's where I saw Marigold so I'm hoping that they will be um, some great colors it looks like there might be like a wine colored one I can't remember, green. So fall colors is what they told us. So we'll see. But I will let you know. Follow the page um, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a lovely Tuesday evening. Bye.